You're not going to come out alive. That's exactly a, what I saw with my family as well. It's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. So then I'd had it, went to Bill, said I need a cush job for a few months just to cool off. He put me at the Arkansas Development Finance Authority, made me the marketing director. And uh, I'd been there a couple of weeks and I got to noticing, well, it don't do what it says it does. And that's when they showed me the second set of books. Now, at the same time that went down, Adolfo Calero, head of the Contras, called me and said, Larry, Congressman Tommy Robinson wants to come down here. And he's your friend. You've got to bring him. I said, whoa, I'm not coming back. And in that conversation, Adolfo said, what is this Contra drug money stuff? And Alex, I was there. If they were selling drugs, selling cocaine for weapons, I didn't see it. And I was on the ground. But it made me check it out. And lo and behold, what I found, folks, is $100 million a month. Where did I come up with that figure? I came up with that figure from the books I had in ADFA. $100 million a month was being laundered through the Arkansas Development Finance Authority, through Dan Laster's brokerage firm, and distributed by Don Tyson and Tyson Foods. And so I went to Bill and said, Bill, here's what's going on. He played like he didn't know anything about it. I knew he was lying. He knew I knew he was lying. Remember who I was. And uh, that's when our war started, Alex. I, they started roasting me. And you see, I was brought into Bill in the first place by a man named Mr. Whit Stevens. He and his brother, Whit and Jack Stevens, owned Arkansas, Louisiana Gas, and they were the kingmakers of the day. They owned everything. You didn't run for dog catcher in a Humnoke, Arkansas, unless they approved it. And Mr. Witt told me there was a boy that he wanted me to make to be governor, and he was attorney general. That's when and how I met Bill Clinton, and that's how I met Hillary. And uh, Larry Nichols, yeah. stay there. We'll be right back to finish up the story and get your advice to Donald Trump. I'm Alex Jones. Stay with us. This is GCN. Senator Albert Hillary is going to be joining us. He's one of these many Republicans who was just a Democrat who switched parties, part of this huge landslide uh, that is taking place. And he's going to be uh, joining us coming up for about 20, 30 minutes in the next hour. Then I will get to the other news and clips that I've mentioned because there is, there is so much to obviously cover on that front. But here's another article. We don't just have border agent. We might as well abolish our immigration laws altogether. Yeah, Joe Biggs is on video driving through one of these checkpoints 70 miles inside the U.S. Hadn't even been to Mexico. They want to search the vehicle. Was it Joe Biggs? I forget which report. I think it was Joe. And, and we, we played it last year. Yeah, it was Joe. And he goes, why? The border is open anyways. And they go, yeah, you're right. Actually, just go on in. Start laughing. Because, I mean, it's a certain point where the TSA wants to grope my genitals or grab my children and all the naked body scanners. I'm like, I know you let illegals through without any IDs. I see it all the time. I used to see it before it was in the news. I'd be sitting there. They go, how do you know they're illegals? Give me a break, folks, especially if they're illegals from uh, the Middle East or illegals from Mexico. I mean, culturally, you see them going, talking and saying, I have no papers. They just let you through. Now that's in the news. And again, people go, well, why don't you like those poor people? Why am I discriminated against? I don't deserve it. It's not for security. It's to train me to be a slave. <sighs> Excuse me. And now there's this new Daily Caller article we're posting at Infowars.com. Lawmaker says he's never read anything that's more sensitive than information than Hillary's top secret emails. Republican Chris Stewart. Yeah, can you imagine what she's really doing with all this? And a lot of intel is, and I, and I think she might have put really super secret stuff in there as a form of blackmail, knowing people to get it, and then she could threaten to have that come out in the investigation they leaked to begin with to bring down all of Washington itself, and that what's in the emails is the threat itself, and that's what Nichols handed at six months ago, and, I, and, and now I'm putting pieces together. I see him nodding. Am I on to something here? <laughs> yeah, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. That's how it works, Alex. You just laid out the play. We used to call them scams. That's the scam. She couldn't hold Washington at bay unless she had had the New York Times release the story about the emails. And the further they deal and further they get along in the emails. They're digging the into Congress, her blackmail operation. Now, this is dangerous, so you never gave out the answer. Did I figure it out? Yes, you did. 
You figured it out exactly. And now you know what I'm talking about, why all of them in Washington are going to Obama and telling him, don't you indict her, don't you indict her, because they know discovery would destroy him. Hillary knows discovery will destroy him. And guess what Hillary's pulled off by doing this? This is one of our old scams. She's got the whole of Washington, D.C. under blackmail. And she never said a word. She never said anything. And now they're going to fight to defend her because they're defending themselves. Right. They got to defend themselves. Look, y'all, it's tough. The racket I was in, it's tough. And it's for hardball. And Alex, people just got to realize this is for the presidency of the United States and soon to be Bill Clinton, the the. Uh, Secretary General of the United Nations. What do you think Trump needs to people. look out for? What does Trump need to look out for? Well, what Trump needs to do is uh, he needs to communicate. I, I wish he would communicate with me or some of his people. And I would tell Trump that you need to stay being you. Do not let the media get you over a barrel like, you know, when he was apologizing or when he was thanking everybody in Ohio, Iowa. You know, he still needs to be Trump. Stay Trump. Then, Alex, he needs to come to you and probably three or four other broadcast entities and set up his own network, his own network, and totally bypass the, the right-wing media. And by doing that, anybody that wants to learn about Trump will have to come to him, Alex, and they'll hear the story, the whole story. And if they go through Fox, CNN, MSNBC, what they're going to hear is a story that is totally wrong. Let's hear more of that strategy back in 70 seconds. Then the state senator joins us. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all crystal clear now. All of Congress, the people on intelligence committees, the other secretaries of states, all of them have pretty much had double sets of emails, just like the head of the EPA had to resign when she got caught with it. And by them going after Hillary on this, now the fact that they've all done it, she can hold them up right there. And then she's been in charge of the State Department and in the White House before that. They know where the bodies are buried and out of this can start hanging a whole bunch of people. And so now you see Petraeus not being demoted. Now you see him backing off his conviction. Now you see all this. Look at this headline right here. This just came in. Lawmaker says he's never read anything that's more sensitive than information in Hillary's top secret emails. Oh, that's why they can't be released. Condoleezza Rice, NBC News. Colin Powell got classified info on personal emails. Oh, is he going to go down too? Now, is that the extent of the honeypot they've suckered themselves into, the bear trap? Larry Nichols, former top Clinton insider, or is there more? Well, there's more, Alex. I messed up. I thought I was going to be here until 1240. I'm supposed to be on another program right I now. I understand. Well, go ahead and finish up. Well, the truth is, yeah, there's more. There's more that's going to come. What's going to happen today is she's going to keep feeding out more, and the more she feeds out, Alex, the deeper Washington's done, done. My job is to make sure she's done, and I will. Trust me. Uh, other advice to Trump, then I know you got to go. Trump needs to be Trump. He needs to set up a network of his own. A network of his own. I don't mean buy one, but I mean use you and, and other networks and do his own lines of communication. And stay after Cruz because Cruz is, is bad, bad. And I'll make sure he knows what he needs to know. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Nichols. We'll talk to you again Thank soon. You. We're, all, we're all praying for you, buddy. All right. Thanks, Alex. Thank you so much. Thank you for the time. Um